Okay, I'm out here again with the kaiju again and this time it's coming to a close. Or at least what I actually want to do with this truck. I mean the stock truck, yeah it was fun off the box and everything, but it rolls too much. And the stance is ridiculous. But you can deal with all of that by a few simple things, even with the stock truck, just by changing out the shock positions and whatnot. Well, I tried all of that, and it still didn't give me what I wanted, so I completely changed everything. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, where to start? Well, I'm not going to make this a rant video. I'm just going to go over what it is now and right now it's in let's see yeah stadium truck mode the ridiculously wide stands with the shocks yeah <laughs> yeah I mean the the arms are almost flat <laughs> and that means that this thing is gonna have almost no ground clearance which is great so that will help the stability and all the other good stuff. And I have my lovely body back from the dead. Shoe good and ready to go. So I'm just going to go in and run this thing. I'll put the glitch buster back in the receiver. Giving that circle a little bit more power. A thousand more power needs more steering. And this thing can take all the help it can get right now. Oh boy. The feel right now is nasty. <laughs> to say the least. I mean, it was raining earlier. And it's going to come down like hellfire later on. So I better go in and get this video in now. And talk about the shit later. Ugh. I gotta go through all the precautions. Because his body sucks even with Shuku. Oh my god. Can you even believe that's actually a kaiju with this stupid low air stance? My god. This thing like this. This service looks like it's gonna be a damn rocket. Okay, kaiju. Let's see what you can do. Yeah. Is this the right controller? Is it? Oh, wait a minute. I don't even have the truck on. <laughs> oh, I'm muffing myself. Okay. Now what's on? Ugh. Boy. There we go. God, this thing is a thundercat. Come on, Kaiju. Whoo, wait, that was a full throttle turn. Oh my God, going nuts with it. Yeah, I don't have no lights on the body this time, so. Pretty much all business. Should have tried to put some mud guards on that back. Cause I can already see it is jacked up back there. This thing is insane. Holy crap, that thing is turning. Turning like that a half throttle. I thought I would be able to do something like that, but I'm, I, I'm turning it all the way. Oh, wow. Uh, don't find any dippers right now. Not going like that. Oh. 
full throttle. Just go for it, Kaiju. My God. Okay, I like this. <laughs> I actually like this. I mean, I got the throttle. Heck, going in the turn now. My God, this thing is nuts. I should have put the wing on the willy bar, but yeah, the body was kind of getting in the way. Oh my God, this thing is glorious. Ugh. And with that wing catching, yeah, that wing's gonna be catching some stuff body's gonna be toe up but that's what the shoe goo is for and if it tears up with that just put more and more on there until it's rock solid but good guy so at least the shoe goo is holding it together how long is it gonna last my god this thing is sick <sighs> it took a while to get like this though, but this thing is quite fun. Serious. I mean, all the power in the world, and I am working this servo. Actually getting it up the full throttle. Yeah, this is definitely giving that servo a workout. And that servo has 500 inch ounces of torque. And has, I think it's like 0.9. Like 0.09, something like that. It's really fast, but <laughs> the wild stairs is taking this thing to task. Oh, yeah, I like this. I really do like this. Let's see. Do I even got the steering turn to a good spot? Dual raid. Let's turn it up a little bit more. It can handle it. Oh boy. There we go. Yeah, I forgot I had the dual right at like 75%. And it definitely needs to be higher right now. Stability of this thing is off the charts. Oh god. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh, the server actually might be taking it down. Which I thought would happen sooner or later if I made it too wide. But this stability is sick. And it's still turning. But just like all the other iterations of this car, as soon as those wheels get off the ground, no turning at all. So maybe that's the next. Maybe I should actually give it some tires that can handle the terrain and stay on it. But the wheelbase is so stubby <laughs> right now that any kind of throttle it just has the wheels straight off the ground and straight off the ground wheels are not going to turn 
This thing is a freaking thunderbolt. Oof. Stance is definitely doing this thing some justice <laughs> because there's absolutely no way I could have even came close to full throttle on this truck. Oh, nice trucking rocks at me and that hit me right in the hand. Yeah, that hurt. Oh, poor Kaiju. I didn't mind you to death and back. I mean, that's crazy. I mean, I got the door right all the way up. And the servo works. But the thing about it is that it's catching so little of the ground is that it's not turning. So I literally gotta take my hand off the throttle to get it to turn. There's always ways of getting it to turn better. And it's definitely engaging all the way. And I do know the wider stance is going to have an effect on it. But the inner wheel is what's turning the truck most of the time. The outer wheel is what's keeping it stable. The inner wheel has to have a higher turning radius than the outer. So, and it's like that for both sides, so. It's pretty much as soon as those wheels get off the ground, the truck ain't gonna turn. I can always put a stronger servo in it. But just like that, the wheel's off the ground and the truck ain't turning. <laughs> oh boy. Well, but if that's the problem right now, I'll take it. Because this thing is launching itself. It's running full throttle. Actual full throttle running. That, that was a, a hopeless task with with the, even on the last run, with the cars, uh, high ground clearance, it was still hopeless. This thing right now, it's nearly perfect. I mean, I can always put a stronger servo in it, but I don't think it's gonna really help it. And it can take a football field to turn, but as long as it stays on the ground, It can take as long as it wants to to turn. Oh my God, kite. This thing is glorious. It really is. Okay, now it's getting windy out here. It's supposed to be actually in the mid 50s today but a nice front is gonna come in and it's gonna just stop pouring down like crazy so i better go on and get to the second half of this video showing off just how i made it be to be able to do all of that all full throttle running that that is sick 
Oh boy. Okay, so I'm back for a little after bash rant. I don't think it's still on. It would be. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, I lost the shock. I thought it was broke for a second, but no, I forgot to put even the the tiniest dab of Loctite on it. And well, right now it has nothing on it. <laughs> so I'm off the shock uh the shock spring. Somewhere out there, I'll find it later. Okay, let's get this thing down so I can actually be able to see what's going on. Okay, yes. Okay, so how did I get it to have this awesome stance? Let's see. I'll go on and make this quick. Just take out one wheel. Oh yeah, and another thing about these wheels is that I actually found out that they can warp. I mean, the glue job isn't the greatest in the first place on a lot of them, but they can warp on the inside just however slightly and have that nice little... Yeah, this one's doing it. And that's not the axle, that's the actual wheel. But it's an RTR wheel, so what do you expect? So let's go on and get this off. Oh yeah, here's the heart of the the back of them right here. I mean, it's a great axle, and it's on the wreck out uh, hub. So yeah, it fits. It's great. Works great. So let's get this off. Just how well does it fit anyway? Oh no. Yeah, go. My big old bear grip can work wonders sometimes. Get that off, get that off there, get that out of there. Oh boy. When that's a real time, it's kind of slow, but. Come straight off. Come. Okay, now I can just take that out and rip that out there. So, as you can see, it's the Creighton axle, the CVD, straight on the bloody Kaiju. Uh, man, it, it is getting cold out here. <laughs> Oh, you gotta love it when the weather starts changing on it. It's supposed to be 50 degrees, but it's not 50 degrees now. And it's only gonna be 50 degrees for, what, a few hours? Before all that crazy rain comes in. And then tomorrow is gonna be below zero. Yeah. Below zero. Fuck this weather. So, okay. So, I got the Creighton Axle on the Kaiju CVD. The Kaiju CVD... Is one of those old style CVDs with the with a 1.5 millimeter grub in there. That out pin and that pops right out of there. So don't lose it when you go to if you actually gonna go and do this. So let's put that let's put this mess back together. Yeah, and this is the, the Kaiju uh, pen. The Creighton pen is, is the same size it works, too. Well, it, it actually might be the Creighton pen then. I don't know what pen it is, but the same pen. So, yeah, it works. And this is the Kaiju sleeve. Yeah, it comes a little, with a little cap sleeve. And I cut it right at the rim 
of the before the cap starts to bend over I cut it like right at that rim to get it to like this size yeah just about that size and so it can fit and cover the outside of the crate and axle so that pin can't go anywhere and then you go to throw it in the bearing I mean in the hub and the distance is right enough to where this will rest right up against the bearing and, and go, won't go anywhere so now we have that and we have the skateboard uh bearing let's see the number on it is right there yeah that's your typical 68 six zero or 608 RS yeah typical skateboard bearing and it fits right on there yeah <laughs> no shims no nothing just a just axle skateboard bearing and then throw the hex of your choice back on there you can use the kaiju or you can use whatever hex extension you want the crate and axle was definitely strong enough to hold up to any kind of ridiculous hex extension you want to put on there to get a wider stance okay got that all back situated Now, it pays to have extra parts for this car. Just like the shock that I lost. I mean, usually for stuff like this, you see I got that that body, I mean the zip tie right there. Considering the way this is, I could put another zip tie through that and actually tether the whole spring to the arm and if it ever wants to come out or want to break you know the rod or whatnot want to act up and do this thing then the spring will never be able to get away from the truck yeah i kind of outthink myself sometimes i thought about doing that but i'm like when have i ever yeah i just did <laughs> So the spring is out there somewhere. I'll find it one of these days, probably next summer. <laughs> like I find a lot of my stuff when I'm out there in that field. Fly was on in. I'm sure not about to do it now since it's cold as heck. So let's get this thing back together. But thankfully I have extra parts for this truck. Yeah, I bought a lot of extra stuff when I first got the truck. And the other, and it was an extra set of springs and shocks, arms, and pretty much everything that I thought would break on this truck. And actually, I haven't used hardly any of it, except a couple of arms. Back when I was, when they only had the plastic hubs, I was breaking those. I used a couple of those. I haven't, I even bought an extra chassis for when I still got the extra chassis. So yeah, this, this thing is, it's, it's almost a tank. Well, this truck might actually qualify as a tank. I mean, this low ground car on clearance is just freaking awesome. And it can still roll over everything it wants to and chuck rocks straight at my hand. The steel hurting. We'll go chuck the big ass rock right at it. Oh, good old kaiju. But that's all in the game. All in the game of RC. You take the licks. The truck takes its licks. And my God, has this truck taken some licks. 
I mean, when I first had the other kaiju that's in there with the Creighton body on it, I beat the heck out of that thing. It broke it so many times and had to completely rebuild it. This one hasn't been completely broken to bits yet. I'm, I mean, all I did was just break that arm clean off. <laughs> so I replaced the shark tower and the bulkhead, and that's pretty much it. As for the rear, yeah, the rear arm is still broken. And it was still out there going crazy, being broke. And actually, when it broke like that, it's less flexible than the other non-broken arm because of this <laughs> these arms are way too flexible poor cvds will die a horrible death because of these stupid flexible arms that can be beefed up a lot red cat please beef them up yeah you can make a fourth version of this thing <laughs> just give us some better arms <laughs> yeah i mean when I first got this truck, I made the mistake of taking off the stock arms and boiling them. <laughs> and I was able to bend the whole arm into a perfect U. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I threw them out. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm ranting now. I'm gonna leave it at that. And then ye old crappy body that I knew was gonna get destroyed. Mainly because of this. But it's all good. <sighs> at least it did have a stadium truck vibe going. I mean, wow. Never expect this truck to ever be able to have a stance like that. Yeah, and I was doing all that and he wasn't tumbling at all. I mean, that that is... Yeah, you see what I had to do with the back. I drove the hole right where the support is. So the hole is going through the support. <laughs> yeah, that's freaking ingenious. And it actually works. Man. This truck, I swear to God, I, I done beat this thing to hell and back, and that was a great drop. I mean, even with the turning radius kind of crappy, that was still a great drop, Kaiju. But I will end the video there since it's going on long enough. Ugh.